Our next team is Mobago. Mobago is a device analytics software startup based in Silicon Valley and Taiwan. After graduating from 500 startups, Mobago became SoftBank's partner for its innovation programs in IoT and uses big data and predictive analytics to help high-tech companies understand their products and users. Please welcome Mobago. Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Iru, co-founder of Mobago. And we are building the real-time business intelligence for all the Internet of Things. So why do we need business intelligence and analytics? If you look at any website that you're building, mobile app that you're building, or any software product that you're shipping, you always want to collect usage data to get to understand how customers are actually using your app, your software, how to re-engage them, and even how to upsell them. There's no successful mobile app or website without data collected. But if you look at all the hardware around us, like the speaker, this projector, there's actually no analytics and no usage data collected. And these hardware companies, they have no idea how you are actually interacting with this hardware and how do you like that, this hardware so that you can even sell a second product? Or if you're actually hating it, how do you disengage your customers? Now, this has been a long time problem. And that's why we see a lot of surveys saying like, oh, how, how many times a week do you wash your clothes or do you watch TVs? But you never see those surveys on your like, Gmail or on your Facebook because all these softwares are already collect massive huge usage data but hardwares are not. And that's why Mobagel is providing the simple, really easy to use solution with big data cloud analytics behind it so that you can see in real time how your customers are engaging your hardware product. And we are a B2B SaaS company so that you can only pay by usage. So how does Mobagel work? For any connected device, you can easily log on to Mobagel and start connecting through our standardized API and SDK and start streaming real life, real time data so that our Mobagel cloud will start selecting the right algorithm to actually pattern recognize your usage patterns. So that at the end of the day, you can simply log on to your dashboard and see in real time how your customers are engaging, how to segment your customers, and how to have different plans, different uh, campaigns for each different customer categories. Our underlying technology is called Decanter. Decanter is a big data AI engine. So why do we need Decanter? Whenever you think of an a IoT data, it's always very, very messy. Like any IoT device connect disconnect easily. Any IoT sensors get broken once in a while like your door lock, your smart lock, just anything. So it actually makes IoT analytics very, very hard just to think about it. So what does Decanter do? When we get this raw data from your IoT device, we immediately do detective modeling and pattern recognition so that we label the exceptions of where does your data look weird, and we look at the patterns of your usage data to predict what should the next pattern be. So that is what, uh, is that the secret of Mobagel? I'm not gonna tell you, but if you think of all the other AI engines that are out there, like Azure Machine Learning or AWS Machine Learning, I mean, think about it. Just go use it right now. At least, at the very least, you need one data scientist that understand all these algorithms, like Arima or Neural Network or Decision Tree, and they need to handpick the algorithms in order to make and map your own model. Now, this is very time and very cost consuming. But with Mobagel's decanter, we actually self-pick. We let them to fight each other, the different algorithms, and based on their, like, the final R square, if you're using like, linear regression, or like, your um, like, recall rate or precision rate, so that each algorithm will fight themselves. And then the best algorithm will stand out by itself. And then we will push out to the result to you and saying like, hey, actually, this algorithm is the best for your data. 
and how is the precision rate, how is the accuracy rate, so that when you get these information, you know exactly how to make your IoT decisions. Now let's see in real life who are using Decanter. This is the dashboard we give to our customers so that um, this real-time visualized dashboard, they can see why their customers are actually disengaging with their customers. And the actions you can take based on our AI decisions, for example, like the user were using it the last month, but they started to use it like this month. So you probably would need to understand like why. Is it this month or is it the device got like something weird? So that you can re-engage your customers in real time. This is one real case. Our customer has a 30 billion yen market in Japan, uh, selling their washing machines to over 1,000 laundry, coin laundry stores. So what's their problem? Their problem is they never know which feature that customers use in each different stores and how to optimize revenue of each, the each different stores. Like for this store, they have schools around the store and it's all students. So if you push out like an easy campaign, like just $100 yen discount, students will come to your store instead of the other competitor store. But if you are at like a higher end and mother area, you definitely need another set of campaigns. So this is what we do with them. And now they have every washing machine connected to our Mobago cloud so that we real co collect, collect their usage data in real time. And then we will segment their customers into different usage patterns. And they can also import their customer basic gender demographics data so that they can real time push out the campaigns they need. This is just like Facebook ads. Like, for example, you're a Facebook usage, you go to wine uh, Facebook page a lot, you can just simply give them a wine ad. This is what so how software works. But in our hardware world, this is what the future looks like. So this is just one IoT company. If you look at, think of the IoT industry, it's the most rapidly growing industry right now. And all these IoT device, all these IoT will be streaming data. No matter, no matter how you want to prevent it, they will be sending data. And these massive data, they need a place. They need a distributed system. They need a distributed database, computing units, just to, just to manage and just to find the right pattern for all of your data. So that's why we have global customers, such as Philips Lighting in the US, SoftBank in Japan, and Panasonic in Southeast Asia. And these partners collectively know the real true meaning of why Mobagel is needed to, de all, to deal with their massive IoT data. And that's why they contribute to us. We have a 5x year over year revenue growth and we're growing very, very rapidly. So that we are the right team to bring this to you. Our CEO, Adams, he grew up in a hardware manufacturing family in Taiwan, and he has 12 years of experience building the first big data center in Taiwan and doing cloud computing for 12 years already. So he, he knows exactly what kind of system is needed to host all these IoT data and to stream and compute and make, let you make your, the right decisions. And I'm Iru. I graduated from Stanford Electrical Engineering and D School, and I worked at NVIDIA Architecture. So I know exactly how to put together this, this global team and do global sales and marketing. And our executive advisor, Robert, he is 500 Startups Venture Partner, and he has been with nine startups, four, four of them got acquired. So he knows exactly how to grow a startup into a giant. And also our two Alberts. They both grew up in the United States and went to schools such as UC Berkeley and UIUC respectively. And having been in startups such as Print and Check, they bring in the cutting edge product strategy and as well as marketing strategy into Mobagel. And last but not least, our list of advisors from like Stanford, Salesforce, Intel, and iRobot, they all contribute to this Mobagel idea of bringing big data cloud analytics to the IoT world. We have global recognitions, such as TechCrunch, VentureBeat, Plug and Play, uh, SoftBank, and also a lot of Japanese media. So we are globally recognized, uh, a globally rec recognized brand. And we have supportive investors, such as 500 startups, Singapore Telecom, 
Cyber Agent, Funders Club, and many more. So with all of these supportive investors, we are ready to grow big. And we've already got our ground solid with the top IoT, com uh, top IoT partners, such as AWS, Microsoft, uh, Google, SoftBank, and Salesforce. So if you're interested in the future world, just please come talk to us. And I'm sure we have something to say to you. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Judges? Jerry, please. Uh, let's take the uh, laundry machine company for example. Isn't it true that with limited like input uh, factors, you only need to do it one and done like analysis like every one year and you don't need to run the machine learning system like every day and then you can figure out an algorithm, a simplified algorithm that, that would just allow the company to be able to, 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 to you know, do feedbacks or offer like package. That's my question. Yeah, so actually um, in Japan, there's a lot of like different seasons and different festivals and different like for example like if you're going into um, winter you will wash out all your clothes and if you're going back to summer you wash out all your clothes and you store them so during those um, time frame it's very critical that you can see like how does the past year of data look like so that you can push out real-time campaigns for your customers and as I, as I said like um, likewise like every year the dates are like somehow different. So you actually need the internet to understand like, oh, actually this school in this proximity, they're having a graduation party. So you actually need to have that campaign so that when the students, they want to get your, their suits clean, they will go to your laundromat instead of all the other laundromats. So that's how, like, how real time is important. And that's how like, they need the data first and they, they need the, to model it and then they will pick out like, okay, at this point, we need a campaign. And for this company, how, how, how did you provide a service? Did you like, accompany them all the way until the installation of the system and figure out what kind of like, rep representation they need in terms of the data analyzed? How, 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 much, how, how many months did you, did you spend in working with them, basically? So we started last year in November, and now we are in, still in the face of like, integration and also trials. Yep. So pretty much for almost every single large client, you have to deploy like FAE in the field for like six months to one year to figure out a system that works for so, them? Yeah. So actually for this case, um, SoftBank is our um, intermediate partner. So they actually have their own FAE to help us to deploy the solution to their customer's face so that they only use our cloud solution. Well, nothing comes free. Did it get exclusive like, like I don't know, dealership in Japan or? For a mobile goal? Not yet, not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah. But uh, of course it's under like some discussion. Yep. Wayne, please. Hey, uh, Iru, congrats hey. on the progress. Yeah, long time. Um, so my question is a little bit related to Jerry's. Um, it's how do you, what's our strategy to reduce our um, custom, custom support um, cost, time, and also customization efforts? Um, you, you, um, you had an analogy with Facebook ads, right? And it's not easy to get fa Facebook ads right. Um, and Facebook don't teach you how to do it. They, mm -hmm. they, they doesn't have a team to teach you, but there's an ecosystem, fortunately. Yes. Where a lot of people are teaching you and, and tutoring people how to get Facebook ads right. Mm -hmm. uh, with MoBagel, how do we grow that ecosystem or how do we let a lot of customers understand how to make the best use of the data that we can generate for them. Yeah, so basically, um, if, you, uh, if you go back to our decanter technology, that is the essential part of our system, so that when the raw data come in, we will actually separate your data into like the normal usage, and also what is, what sh what is an exception. So we will first detect that, and then we will, for the normal pattern, we will let you know exactly like how is the pattern going and then why is the exception happening. So through this like entire automatic uh, system, the customers will know, okay, so this is my normal pattern, so, this is the so exception. If, if I'm selling uh, washing machines, right? So how, and I bought your product, how do I, how do I understand now what, what do I do with the product? What data should I collect? And how would it help my sales process? I see, yeah. So basically, um, if you can go to our website, we actually have an API and data collection uh, 
section so that we teach you, okay, how is the data format that you should plug in? For example, like if, if it's usage, then you just like put a timestamp and we'll re record it as a usage. And if it's a specific feature, you plug in as a feature. So basically, we provide the general JSON, the J JSON format for any company to easily map their product into our system so that our dashboard will actually make sense for them. Yep. We spoken on the phone, and I introduced Ayla Network to you. Oh, I'm Peter. Yeah. Hi. Oh, and congratulate yeah, yeah, yeah. on being uh, oh, being selected. Hi. hi. <laughs> Con congratulate on being selected as one of the companies for AMA Cradle program this year, uh -huh. which I'm also a mentor to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you have made tremendous progress in how you describe your business. So this has been great. Um, but uh, a joke question: Why is bagel related to red wine? <laughs> So it's like Jesus, you know, you, you can always have wine with a bagel. No, it's a joke. Um, so basically, um, you mean our name, right? Right. Okay, so we're, out, we're Mo Bagel, and actually it means like mobile bagel. So Mo Bagel, bagel means connected device. <laughs> you're, you're using decanter to drink some nice wine. Why don't you call it steak? Steak, sizzle, yeah, we, we've thought about that. Like, okay, always sell the sizzle. Any, anyway, joke aside, naming of your product and company sometimes is important, especially if you go to some traditional IoT. I, I think actually a lot of the user at the uh -huh. end of the day of IoT will be pretty traditional. So we I name see. your product down the road. Maybe you want to think a little bit. Just an advice. Yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to, yeah, but, but like now our, it's our very team young and is kind of like this, this very, a yeah. very young combination. So far it's great. Yeah. And we want to be special, all right? Yeah. Thank you, Peter, and thank okay. you, Mobego. Thank That's you. An interesting fact to know.